Hello and merhaba. We are so excited and blessed to be here. We are Karen and Tony Hill, husband and wife power team for God. Our ministry is health and fitness. We have a body, a soul, and a spirit. So what we want to do is get the temple strong, fit, uh, energetic to do God's work and also to hold the Holy Spirit really nice and be able to do the work, correct? And it, it, today, actually today, I am very, very excited. I would like to share some information with you. So that is why when I get excited, all the languages that I know goes together. So if I sound really funny because I'm excited, I apologize. I hope you understand what I will say. I'm excited. I'm excited today. <laughs> so we actually always have a main scripture. Today I have a very special side scripture and which we will go and explain what that is. But the first one is 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20. Or do you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. For you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. So that's what we want to do. God created this body. There is, I mean, so much evidence for that. This is it. thousand percent. God created this body. But he left us an owner's manual, which is the Bible. How to live your life, your marriage, kids, relationship, your health your spiritual well-being, everything is in the book because he is the creator. So he will tell us what to do. All those rules and regulations, we call it, it's for our own good. So that's very important. That's why it's very important to read the Bible and understand it. I am the type of person that I research, right, honey? I say, you know, if you want to just make me believe something, prove it to me, show it to me. So I came across something that I was like, my God, I was like, oh, my Lord, I cannot believe it, but I do believe it. So <laughs> I'm so excited today. Yeah, yeah, all over the place. I am all over the place. So the, uh, the side scripture, which we want to talk about, uh, Col Colossians 16, 17, for in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. Colossians 17, very important. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. So, uh, don't they say, honey, uh, when you look at the sky, when you look at the world and this, um, the stars, you can tell God's hand. Yeah. You can tell the creation. Because the earth, yeah, the, the earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But we also, this week, we also looked at inside the body, which yeah. there are signs yeah. of the creation. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like... It's like when, when God, you know, like when God made us, what he did was, um, you know how when certain meat pass inspection, you have that stamp of approval, or when you buy a stamp, you know, you want to mail it, they stamp that stamp to, to show its origin, and then oftentimes its destination. Uh, uh, they seal, you know, or you have what they call a notary. Yes. That when you sign your name, they put a, a seal. So to a nat to every natural thing, what God did, what we found out, was God has a stamp to prove that he come from us. This is mine. And this stamp <laughs> is actually 100% acknowledgement. And there's no way you can really really get away from this stamp. Scientists now got it. it it's mind-blowing. They're trying to come up with something else, but they cannot because 
it is in us, truly God's stamp, and we're going to reveal that to you. So today. what it is is actually it's called laminin. Mm -hmm. You're excited, right? Laminin. <laughs> That's you what it was. You that three times. I know, laminin. Laminin is actually a protein molecule, a protein that is extremely important because this protein is like... Um, holds everything together. It's like the beam yeah. in a house that is like the found, you know, without it, everything will crumble around it because you need that. So laminin is that protein. And this protein tells every single cell what to do. Wow. Without it, nothing your body will crumble, it won't do, it will not know what to do. So now, are you ready, scientifically, what laminin looks like? Let's see it. Let's just see it. Isn't that yeah. just mind-blowing? That's amazing. That's exactly, mind -blowing. that's exactly what the structure is in the body. That's exactly what that protein cell so, looks like. What do you? What do we say here? It is what? shaped like a cross. It is shaped yeah. like a cross. It, it holds together. Uh -huh. So let's read that Colossians. Col Colossians. Colossians, seventeen. He is before all things, and in him, all things hold together. Right. Which which also also means too, that we have actually. That's why every man, every living thing, every bows before God, knows you can call him a higher power, you can give him all kinds of names, but you know inside that something else has created you. But today you have just seen the molecule, the protein that's in the body that God put there. That's his stamp, his seal to, to give us evidence that he created us. So, hey, hey, and there he you go. Holds us and he holds us together. together. And what we do, and, what, and the reason I think, too, is that we're, well, while we're so committed, especially not only to each other in, this, in taking care of ourselves, but to you as well, is because the reality now, more so, uh, if that being true, if we are, do not follow the instructions and if we don't take care of ourselves, you see, that's what happens when you get away from order. When you get away from order and do things that are out of order, then here comes illness and sickness and obesity and early death. Most exactly. people die and they haven't even fulfilled their purpose yet. So it's just, yeah. uh, you know, I believe that, you know, when people b b uh, believe in the Big Bang Theory mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. I believe that that requires more faith. Exactly. I mean, that's just like... Seriously, it's like almost like you, you, this is what actually uh, with the Big Bang Theory or whatever, yeah. it just, we just came out of nothing. This is what actually you're telling, for example. This is just going to be an interesting thing. I'm <laughs> sitting on a couch, right? I am sitting on a couch. Mm -hmm. So what we're, uh, what we're saying is this couch made itself. Yeah. It's just, 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 it but, just happened. But I don't know about you, but... but <laughs> That's but what it, we're saying, actually. But, but if it was a big bang, then my question, my next question is, who banged it? <laughs> Somebody had to bang it. <laughs> to bang it. it just, but no, you know. No, that's right. Yeah. So, but the, this you, is just a basic, basic yeah. chair. And you, you know that it's made by someone. It yeah. didn't just appear out of nowhere. It required some building. So think that... Our body is so complicated. They still don't know everything about our body. You know what, that, honey? While you talking, ahead. keep talking. Go can, ahead. Can, can we see that, see that thing again, that, that uh, lamina? I, I want you guys to really, really take really a look long at look at that because scientifically, I think I sent, sent another photo. I don't know if they got it or not. But uh, if, you, if you look at lamina in a uh, microscope, and you take the protein cell in of itself, it literally, it's not that perfect, but it's actually shaped like a cross. It's slanted a little Cellularly, bit. Cellularly, it's, that's what it is. It's like, it's like, it's like the cross. It's like what Jesus 
was on the cross. It's like he died for us. He, he created us. God created us to do his real. It, in every man, that seal has the purpose in which you exist if you want that, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So I, I would say if that's so, mm -hmm. then we need to really pay attention yeah. what to do with our life and our body, how to treat it, because mm -hmm. God actually says says everything. Everything is laid out in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Everything is laid out in the Bible. But, but then too, honey, that's why we're so abnormal. Why? Because. <laughs> why are we abnormal? Now, when I say abnormal, I'm talking about most people that I've seen since we've been doing this, and even before we met, people find it difficult to understand what we're talking about. And they try to throw us in the pot with all these physical fitness people, personal trainers, what they call them, life coaches or whatever. But or dietitians. Uh, right, dietitians. I, and I tell them this. I says, I says a, trainer, a, trainer, a trainer trains animals. See, you train animals, but you teach people. People, people function by... Uh, by showing them and in order to give someone something you have to be willing to sacrifice yourself to do it so it's the same principle and I really believe especially after seeing that that that's why we're so abnormal we're different because we understand at the cellular level and we honor and respect all the bio chem biochemists mm -hmm. or bioengineers or whatever and the doctors because they too have a gift and for them to uncover this this is not religious this is this, is, this was just uncovered it. just google this it. was uncovered by science okay and now it's all coming together it's like god's message is coming together so people get ready because jesus is coming back yeah that's cool so we're weird okay but if you want our help we're here for you okay and people ask me and people ask me they go you know i have a lot of um uh, Patients, I call them patients, uh, because they're always something is wrong with their body. They they don't feel good, so they they say, Karen, where do you get your motivation? I, I you know motivation motivation. You know that's such a famous word motivation. I said, do you believe in God? They go, oh, of course. Are you kidding me? It's like an insult. The question, do you love and respect God? Oh, of course. I mean, how can you you know ask me that? I said, then, how dare you not actually take care of yourself just because of that? Because God created this body and lent it to you to do its work. Mm -hmm. That's one way, a major way, to show God your love, respect, and everything else, your praise, to take care of this temple because Holy Spirit resides in it. And so that you can do God's work better. Because I truly, I don't know about you, I do not want to see sick, depressed, tired Christians. Well, I don't want to see anyone, that, anyone like, that. like that because that leads to... That actually leads to death anyway. But, exactly. But, you know, it's, uh, I think that God's love for humanity is he's letting us know. He's letting us know it with a certainty that he created us through this laminate. You know, he's letting us know that, hey, either you're going to believe it or you're not going to believe it. But you can't, you can't reject it because it's true. You know what I mean? It's kind of crazy. And then you, you, it's almost like I remember when I was a little kid, and I think we all did this, you know, when you're small. And then when your parents, your parents say, don't do that. And then that kind of gives you that curiosity. This, this, this will do that. And you'll go, hmm. Then you do it anyway, and boom, it puts you in a situation. And then your, your, your parents come and say, what would you do? <laughs> you say, Nothing. Didn't I tell you not to do that? Yeah. Why'd you do it? I don't know. I mean, and that's exactly what we say to God sometimes. We accept all these bad things. You know, we accept the, the world. I said it last time. I said the world, the difference between uh, knowing Jesus Christ and the world is that Jesus was not affected by the world, but the world was affected through his life. 
So to all my brothers and sisters, your life is much more important than, your, than the words you say. The mouth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I believe that I also, you know, uh, be, being uh, God's child, mm -hmm. being uh, a Christian, um, I believe that we, you know, once you accept uh, this mm -hmm. and um, things will not just be perfect and pink and roses and it's going to actually going to be just mm -hmm. the opposite. Uh, so, and I call it warriors. We are supposed to be warriors, and yeah. I believe that in a physical sense, yeah, and you should know better. Warriors, when you were a soldier, not, war not warrior. No, what, how did I say it? Say it again. You're going warriors. No, uh, you said warriors. War it's the like same a, thing. Yeah, soldiers. You know, like a soldier. Yeah, I got you. Just, okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's the hearse. War yeah. Warriors. Yeah. Yeah. Paya! And so we need to be strong because we're supposed to fight. Mm -hmm. exactly. So automatically, you have to be strong physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And you, if you're not healthy physically, automatically your emotions go down. And spiritually, you're not going to be able to do too much because your body's not going to handle it. So that is why we need to take care of ourselves. Yes. So last time, uh, we were talking about m myths. Myth. Did I say it right? Myths. Myth, yeah. Uh, yes. Myth. Uh, we, we just think that we think it's true, <laughs> but it's not true. So we went through a few things. We didn't have enough time because we can talk. So we are going to go through the rest. But what we talked about uh, last time is strength exercises will build up your size, uh, which is not true because if you lose the body fat around it, you'll be tight and very good looking. Every calorie is the same. It does not matter what we eat. That is not true. We talked about it. Eating fat will make you fat. We talked about it, which is not true. Now, the next one is, uh, it's for you, sir. Uh, low intensity exercise will burn higher calories, which is not true. Can you please explain us? Low intensity exercise. Because Low intensity exercise will higher, burn higher calories yeah, and more fat. It. Actually, they believe no. that it burns more fat. No, you have to increase the intensity. Right. When you increase the when you increase your your intensity level, it forces the body to to actually burn fat or fuel. Okay, so you can't do a little. So thing. what we you were saying is instead of doing an hour, two hours walking and mm -hmm. just cardio, which is low intensity but it's long, we need to do shorter, mm -hmm. but more. Well, I always say if you use walking as an as an example, but I mean if you're 90 years old, walking is considered exercise. <laughs> but you know, walking is a natural thing. It's a, it's a thing to do, yes. But we're talking about, you know, exercise in and of itself means just movement. It's, but then when you get into the extreme part of exercise or movement, it, to burn fat, you have to force it. Like, for example, you have, I showed in push-ups, you know, I showed in push-ups when you do this, put the push-ups and everything, which, in fact, next week, I hope we can We will exercise, exercise, yes. But uh, uh, so, you know, when you do uh, one push-up, then two push-ups, then three push-ups, then four. As you increase the level of intensity, the demand on the body gets greater. And as the demand gets greater, then, of course. The calorie burn is yeah, higher exactly. and the fat and burn the fat is higher. Exactly. Okay, so the, the other one would be diet carbonated drinks, diet stuff, will help you lose weight. Actually, this is now 100% proven scientifically. We knew this before, but it's a, such a commercial thing. It's a, such a money thing, uh, the diet, diet stuff. Actually, we, uh, we did find out, actually, the medical industry finally agreed that uh, diet stuff actually make you fatter. And also uh, the diet, like the diet this and diet that also uh, will make you pre-diabetic and diabetic. Um, because what it is is, the, even though there is zero calories, the sensation is very sweet. So automatically, even though there's no sugar coming in, uh, the insulin release will happen. That's number one. The second thing is in diet stuff, there is what we call it um, the, the the aspartame or what do you, what do we call that? Uh, the, the, 
the Splenda. Uh, what is the name of those? Uh, the, which it's low cal. Uh, sweeteners. 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 Yeah. Uh, the the sweeteners actually they are toxic to the body. So when there is something toxic comes to the body, the body cannot get rid of all of it. 20 to 30 percent stays in the body. It cannot, either the body cannot remove it. So automatically, the body has to put those toxic stuff somewhere so it won't hurt the body. So it does deposit it in the fat cells. So every day you drink a diet something, you eat a diet something with the sweeteners, the body has to make more fat prisons for the toxic. So actually, in order to protect itself, it's going to get fatter. Um, you, this is for you, honey. Your cardio equipment will calculate the calories you have burnt. That's not true. Cardio equipment is not, it's just a basic, it's just, cardio equipment is just, when you look at it and you grab those things, it's, just, it's generic. It's, it's called bioimpedance, where, mm -hmm. where what happens is, um, it, it actually sends uh, electrodes through your fat, water, muscle, skin, whatever, and based upon your body's temperature or whatever happens, comes out with this baseline reading. But it really is not accurate. Right. You know. Um, so cut that in half, right? Cut the, cal the calories? If it's a 200 calories, I have a polar watch, I wear it, and mm. my polar watch is saying 100 calories, the machine is saying like two. Or 250. Well, oftentimes you can cut it in half, but now they've made uh, they've made um, the um, the watches now with a chip that won't allow you to pick up someone else's heartbeat. Right. Because that's what happens sometimes. You pick up. You're picking else's up heart. someone else's and the it and doesn't the heart happen anymore. Malfunctions. I think. Yeah. 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 Okay. And also, just to let you know, when you are on a treadmill, this is tell me if it's <laughs> um, if you're holding on. Yeah. It's actually uh, really cut your calories then yeah. because what happens is when you're holding on, even though you're kind of going really fast, you're holding on, half of your strength goes onto the bar. So automatically your heart rate starts going down and actually you're really not working. So if you have to hold on, it means slow it down because you're going to fly. <laughs> That is true. You go, I'm yeah, going, I'm yeah, going, I'm going. I, I really see, I see it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and the last one would be when we are talking about weight loss, nutrition and exercise are of the same importance, which is actually um, nutrition is first importance because it's 70% it's nutrition, which is the fuel. 30% the exercise. But what that means is, what that means is, if your nutrition is correct, the result from that exercise, the mm -hmm. correct exercise, the results are 100%. Exactly. Because your fuel is correct mm -hmm. to support the exercise. Otherwise, you will lose muscle and all kinds of stuff, and mm -hmm. you will get injured and all that stuff. That's a long story. We will definitely talk about it next time. We will exercise next time. Would you mm -hmm. like to add anything? Well, if you guys want to follow us live, okay, live, you get the app. The app is The Wave TV. Way. Way. Did yeah. I say wave? Wave. Ooh. <laughs> I'm thinking about the ocean surfing. I don't surf. But anyway, The Way TV. The Way TV app, and it'll give you, it's three options, but you'll see the Cross TV, which is us. Click on that, and you actually see the live show in real time. Or you can go to the Facebook and, or the YouTube, which they download immediately after we get off. And uh, if you have any questions or whatever or any concerns or anything you'd like to see, please uh, reach out to us and let us know what that is so that we can add that to our show. Uh, we've been on for a couple of months now, so yes. I guess now it's time to get into the meat of what we want to do, which is showing you exercise mechanics, talking about different supplements and how they work for you. We're going to talk about people most likely in Europe they like to talk about steroids and stuff but not being an advocate of what steroids is but uh, to let you know the, some of the do's and don'ts and what you have to watch out for and and usually I you know I, I, I can't tell you what what works for you or what not and I'm not advocating or giving you permission to do it but at least you need to know about it 
Uh, we're going to talk about like things like coffee, what's too much, fish, what's too much. You we know, can also even talk about kind of kids, yeah. uh, kids, kids nutrition, nutrition obesity. young adults, mm -hmm. sports. So if you, yeah, so if you follow us, please, you know, let us know what. And we, we actually, if you reach out to us via uh, Facebook or whatever. Everywhere, yeah. And we'll let you know those times and the subjects of what we're going to talk about so you can have your questions. We're going to at some point have live audience as well. Uh, Q and A, so that you can learn. We will do so many things. Yeah, we have a lot to do. We we need a not like an everyday show. That's what we yeah. need. So if you think <laughs> if you guys want us to be on every day, let, let us know. know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so thank so. you so very much for watching us. We'll see mm -hmm. you next week. And if you have questions, please reach us. Reach out to us. Yes. Thank you. Nah. -uh. <laughs>